how skillful, how skillful you are in this business. I want you to read that, screenshot it. The money you expect to earn, the success you expect to achieve, the large business you hope to build is what? Dependent on how skillful you are. Meaning that if you are not skillful, you, you will not make money. If you are not skillful, you will not achieve success in this business. If you are not skillful, you will not build a large business. You know, something happened in my office this evening uh, after the QSG. Somebody brought somebody that came to come and fight her battle that, uh, that we deceived her into signing up into the business. And then I said, all you needed to do, make a list, send the words, send the uh, text message and all that. The question the person was like, what if nobody signs up? What if nobody registers? What happens? What happens? What happens? What will be my fate? What will happen to my money? You see, the person who is talking is a what? Is somebody who is not skillful. And I have to give it to her straight. If you don't want to follow the system, you don't want to learn the skills, what do you do? Collect your product and go. Nobody cheated you. Are you with me now? Nobody cheated you. Why? If you are not ready to be skillful in this business, listen to me. Let me say, in case you are here and you are already thinking like that lady, hey, this and that and that. Sorry, let me tell you, this. you won't make any money if you are not skillful. Okay, you won't make so much money. Yeah, you can make money even without the skills. Your upline is doing everything for you. Your leader is doing everything for you. You can make money. But I'm talking about the success, something that will last. If you are not skillful, I hope everybody is listening to me. If you don't work on your skills, there is only a limit to how far your upline can take you. There's only a limit to how far your upline can lead you. There is all, all, only so much your upline can do for you in this business. Meaning that when your upline gets to that level, he can help you too. It is your skills that will take it off from there. If you are not skillful, so do you know what? That period that your upline is helping you do things, that is the time you should be learning the skills, becoming better version of you. Because if you don't, you will not achieve success. If you are not skillful, you will not build a business that will last. Simple truth. Simple truth. So if you are not experiencing success in your business, if you are not experiencing a business where you, your business is growing, check your skills. Simple. Simple. How many of you are angry with me now? How many of you are angry with me now? How many of you are saying, ah, ah, you people should have told me this now before I made my payment. You should have paid me this now before I what? Before I made my payment. Why is it after I have paid that you are not telling me these things? You are not telling me these things. You are not telling me these things. There are some people like that too. There are some people like that. Ah, that's one thing with this man. You people don't tell every, you don't tell us the whole truth. You don't tell us the whole truth until we enter first. When we enter. When the pastor was preaching and telling you to give your life to Christ, did he tell you that your what? That your family members will reject you and that they will throw you out of the house? Did he tell you that before you gave your life to Christ? Did he tell you that some people will stone you because you say you are following Christ? Did he tell you that your friends will laugh at you because you decided to give your life to Christ? Did, did, were you told that on the altar when you were giving your life to Christ? Say the truth and shame the devil. I know you are children of God. Did they tell you all of that? Did they tell you all of that? Eh? 
Did they tell you all of that before you gave your life to Christ? Did they tell you all of that? That after you give your life to Christ, that your friends will say no, they will stop walking with you, they will stop laughing with you, they will start. Did they tell you that? Why are you not angry with God again now? Why didn't you go back to church and say, ah, you should have told me now that my father will throw me out of the house before because I gave my life to Christ. Why didn't you? You people are scammers. You are scammers. You scammed me to enter the kingdom of God. You see, anybody that says that makes that kind of statement that you didn't tell me everything. That person came in because the person was thinking it's a Ponzi scheme. So the person is a greedy person that is wishing, let me just put my money so that the thing will keep yielding for me, even without me doing anything. I'm going to tell you where they belong to, those kind of people, right? It is lack of skills and the unwillingness because the person made a statement and said, what if I, must I send the text message to these people? What if I don't send, does that mean? I say, can you imagine? Yeah, in my mind, in my mind, I said, you are a thief, oh. you are a thief. Common text message, you will not, you don't want to send and you want to make millions. Are you not a thief? You don't want to do anything, but you want to make millions. That is the mindset they're coming with. And that is what you, I said, I need to let you people know these things. Don't worry, it is okay if you say, ah, because I did not know this. Ah, because I did not know this, I am not doing it again. I want to go, you are very free to go. Collect your product and go. You did not lose your money. Nobody cheated you. Collect your product and work. We'll be happy to do send forth party for you. Why? Because we need people who are ready to pay the price for their future. Pay the price for their future. Are you with me now? Pay the price for your future. So let me read it again. The money you expect to earn, the success you expect to achieve, and the large business you hope to do is going to be dependent on how skillful you are. Let's make progress. Let's make progress. Now, when skills are mastered, what happens? Confidence is increased. Effort, anxiety, prayers is what? Is reduced when you master the skill. You see this thing called anxiety. You see, it is anxiety that makes somebody say, what if all the people I invite, what if they don't sign up? Anxiety. Anxiety. Fear, that is because somebody does not have the skills, right? So when you master the skills, your confidence will increase. Your effort, the anxiety and prayers is what is reduced. <laughs> when you know your onions well, when you are skillful in what you do, guess what? You'll be praying less. Hmm. Pay attention, you will learn the skills. You will know the skills we are talking about, right? When you are skillful, when you know your onions well, when you know what you are supposed to do very well, guess what? Your prayer point will reduce. You see, a lot of prayers that people are saying, eh, that they have prayer, like uh, 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 prayerlessness, like, sorry, um, lack of answers to prayers is as a result of lack of skills. You will have less unanswered prayers if your skills are sharp. Do you know why a lot of people pray too much and they don't get so much answers? You know why? Most of the prayers we are praying is that we are shying away from the things we are supposed to do that we bring answers to those prayers and we want to shift the responsibility to God to do for us. So we are praying, say, God, do this for me. God, do this for me. And then when God doesn't do it, we now blame God and say, God does not answer prayer. God is not answering my prayer. All 
of the things that I said. Because, but you don't know that God is seated there and God is saying, this thing you are pushing to me to do is something you can do. The problem is that you don't know what you're supposed to do. The problem is that you don't have the knowledge and the skills you're supposed to apply to get it. So that is why you find out, how many of you have noticed, how many of you have noticed that most of the people, most, most of the people who have too many unanswered prayers, how many of you have noticed that they are poor people? Aye. Was I too harsh? Was I too harsh? Have you noticed that it is poor people that have more unanswered prayers? Because they have too many prayers that they should have been able to answer. Some prayers can be answered by you. Right? Some prayers can be answered by you. It's not everything that is God, 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 God. The rich have less prayer points. Less. Go to prayer houses. Who are the people you see there? Who are the people you see there? All those prayer houses. Go there. Go there. Right? Who are the people you see there? Poor people. Because they believe that is God. Is God that will do everything for me. Is God. Listen to me. If God was going to be doing everything for every human being, God will die before his time. Did you hear me? If God had not set up a system, if God had not set up a system to take care of things, God will die. If, imagine, do you know how many billion people are on earth? Seven billion people. If God is the one doing everything, God would have died before his time. That is if God will die. I'm using the God I'm talking about is in like in human characteristics, okay? Is in human characteristics. But God would have been, imagine the stress God will go through, right? Imagine the stress. God, even though God is omnipotent, is omniscient every day. This one is calling him in Jamaica. The other one is calling him in Africa. The other one, God had to set systems so that what? He will have time to focus on other things. Are you following me now? So, but a lot of people, who think that everything, it is God, 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 that will do everything for me. And that is why one year will pass and they are praying and praying and praying and praying and they don't get answers. Why? Because the answer is there within them. But they want to blame God. They want to blame God. They want to look for somebody they can blame when things don't go right or when things don't go the way they expect it to go. Of course, I know that God cannot die. But that is also, God also had to help himself by putting systems to make sure. You do, I hope you know, only the problems of Nigerians, eh? Hmm. So you can reduce your prayer points when you have mastered skills. Do you know why you are afraid? You are afraid. What if people don't join my business? What if everybody that I should, it is because you are not skillful yet. Right, right, right? That is because you are not skillful yet. Once you are skillful, confident. How many of you right now, how many of you can notice that now that you know how to present? Have you noticed that you are more confident about this business than when what? Than when you started, right? Than when you started the business. You are more confident. There's this level of confidence you now have. You can talk to your friends very well about the business. You can talk to them about network marketing and all that. Why is that so? You have mastered some skills. Because you have mastered skills, your confidence has increased. That time when you started, you didn't even want people to know that you're doing this business. You were ashamed. You were scared. You were what? You were anxious. But now that you have learned how to present, you now know more about the business. Your confidence, in fact, you are, in fact, you are even looking at the people who are not in this bear. You are looking at them as foolish people. Like the way you are now saying is like, I can't understand why somebody cannot be doing this business. I can't understand why somebody is not doing this. How can somebody be in his right senses and the person is not doing this business? Do you know why? Because your confidence has increased because you, now are, you are skillful. All the people you have shown the opportunity, none of them decided to join the business. Still, you are still in the business. Why? Because you know I can get more persons.
That is what happens when you master the skills. So when you find yourself, or when your downlines are fearful, when they are anxious, when they are always what? When they are too what? To put in too much. It is because their skills is still low. Their skills is still low. I'm going to play a short video. Let us see a man that took his time to develop his skills. And you will tell me how many prayer points he prayed for this to happen. All right. So um, everybody, I hope everybody's ready now. I'm going to play a short video now. Watch. Oh, is it firm enough? Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> he had the hat off before it dropped, Gary. Unbelievable. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Let me play it again. Let me play it again. Let me play it again. Is it firm enough? Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> he had the hat off before it dropped, Gary. Unbelievable. What did you notice there? How many prayer points did this man pray for that thing to enter inside that hole? After he kicked the ball, did you notice that he didn't even what? He was not even looking at the ball. He went to go and greet his opponent, removed his cap, went to go and greet his opponent. You know why? If I take it i know that if i play it like this it must enter at this point he didn't need to go down on his knees and start praying father lord father lord let this thing enter let this enter between you that is always praying if you were the opponent and then as you played it you went down on your knees and you are praying father lord father lord father lord and this other person between the two of you who do you think god will prefer to have as his child is it the person who will go down on his knees and he's shouting Father Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord, or this other person that has applied the skills and is confident. Which one, which one will God prefer to have as his child? Which one will God prefer to have as his child? Right? Right? The person who has applied the skills. Now, does that mean that this person will not pray? This person is going to pray, but when will he pray? He will pray before he comes to the field. Do you understand me now? After he has done some training, after he has done some training, after he has trained himself, after do you think this man was sleeping on this on the mountain? Do you think this one was sleeping on the mountain for him to be able to play this? Oh God, you, if you like, be sleeping on top of the mountain. If you don't practice, if you don't improve your skills, you will do poorly. Well, you see, this guy will spend time. He will learn the skill. He will go for training. After he finishes training, he wakes up in the morning and he prays. Before he comes here, he has done training, right? Then as he's coming out, he will pray to God, say, Father, I thank you. Because when I go outside there and I apply the skills that I have learned, what will happen? I know that I am going to get the result. Help me as I go. Thank you in Jesus' name. That is skills. That was what Jesus Christ did when he came before the tomb of, La of what? Of Lazarus, right? When he came before the tomb of Lazarus, what did he say? What did he say? He said, Father, I thank you because whenever I pray, you hear it me. That was the prayer he prayed. And what did he do? He opened up his mouth and he shouted, Lazarus, do what? Come forth. And what happened? Lazarus came forth. He did not come before the tomb and he started uh, 40 days and 40 nights of fasting and prayer. No, the man has done what? He has already sharpened his skills. And when he came, He just made the statement. Last, how do we say? Eh, is it not because he's the son of God? Ah, somebody will be saying, ah, it's because he's the son of God. Now that is why God heard him. That is why God. Said, you are you not the son of God? You are you not the son of God? Go and tell a dead man comfort now. Go into mortuary. 
and go and say, comfort, and see what will, will happen. Are you not a child of God? Are you with me now? Why is that so? He has developed his skills. So you see, when you have developed your skill, you reduce your prayer points, right? You will reduce your prayer point. That is the same thing. Listen to me. You see all these men of God that are, can do miracles. It's a skill. It's a spiritual skill. If you discipline yourself and you go through the same trainings, listen to me, you will produce the same results. That is the truth. But how many of you can fast for 40 days and 40 nights to get it? You will not. You will not. You like eating food. You will not. And that is why you cannot get that kind of result. Are you with me now? You have to develop the skills. Right? You have to go and develop the skills. Become a professional preacher. You will get the result. Become a professional golf. You see what this man did. If you learn the skills, if you go through the trainings, You'll be able to do it. You'll be able to do it. Let me show you. Let me show you another one. Just watch. 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Go No Sport. In the video, the PSG and Argentina striker can be seen testing on Adidas new Diamond Edge ankle boots, which has now received over 5 million views. He throws the 2022 Arehla ball, which will be used in Qatar, not even once, but three times before giving the camera a cheeky thumbs up. Do you believe Messi is able to hit three passes into the garbage in a row? Tell us in the comments below. We believe it is genuine, since after all, this is Lionel Messi we're talking about. Chai! Who saw that thing? Who saw that thing? Somebody will just take. Somebody will just take a shot. Somebody saying I should repeat. Take the thing was entering inside their waist bin. Just like that. He just takes it. Bah! The thing will enter inside and it will go inside. Can you see it? That is what skill done for you. You know, those days when we went to Sunday school, they were telling us the story of uh, David and Goliath Abi. They said that when David, when David threw that thing. Angel of God carried the thing, directed the stone, directed the stone. And then he went and did what? He went and did what? Went and hit Goliath on the forehead. They didn't tell us the correct truth. The angel of God that actually took that stone was the skills that David, that David, what? The skills that David developed in throwing stones. That's what Messi just did here right now. Eh? Somebody, some people are telling me to repeat. Don't go, let me repeat. All right, watch. Make sure you pay attention, though. Watch it. Let me optimize. I hope you can all see this uh, the slide now. You are seeing the slide, are you? If you are seeing the slide, type yes. All right. Hello everyone and welcome back to Go No Sport. In the video, the PSG and Argentina striker can be seen testing on Adidas new Diamond Edge ankle boots, which has now received over 5 million views. He throws the 2022 Arehla ball, which will be used in Qatar, not even once, but three times before giving the camera a cheeky no! thumbs up. Do you believe Messi is able to hit three passes into the garbage in a row? Tell us in the comments below. We believe it is genuine, since after all, this is Lionel Messi we're talking about. Chai! All right? This is what skills can do. He did not have to, he was not what? He was not there crying. Ha, I pray this thing, enters. I pray this. No, 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 no. As he took it, he knew the thing we enter. Why? Can, did you see the confidence with which he's playing the thing? You saw the confidence as he played, he just knew the thing will enter inside. That is what happens when you master skills. And guess what? He even had the ghost to tell them to be videoing him. He had the ghost to tell them, video me as I am doing this. He took the shots and the thing went inside. That is what happens when you are skillful, you are full of confidence. It's the same thing in this business. It's the same thing in this business. 
if you want to be getting results, you want to run presentations, and if you want as you present the thing we enter, it will get them. You have to improve your skills. So, in this business, let's go into the discussion for today. In this business, there are three kinds of people, three sets of people. Number one are the what? Proposers. Number two, the what? Amateurs. Number three, the what? The professionals. The professionals, right? So let us look at those individuals, right? Let us look at these three different kinds of people. There are three different sets of people in this business. So let's look at number one. Number one is the what? Is the poser. What are their characteristics? Posers, they never set out to develop the necessary skills in this business. A poser is that person that doesn't want to learn anything about this business. They hope to be successful by just talking to about five people. They hope to be successful by just talking to a few number of persons. That's a poser. They don't want to learn anything. They don't want to learn anything. In fact, they even try to talk to you based on what they think they know. And that was exactly what happened, happened today in, the, in my office after my, after my QS. Can you imagine? Somebody that did not see the opportunity, somebody that doesn't know anything about the business came and was trying to talk like an authority in the business. What if nobody, there is no last slide. The last slide was a, a, a mess. Okay, the last slide, poser, amateur, and professional. Write it down, okay? The person was coming to talk like a what? Like an authority. What if nobody registers in the business after I write my contact? What will happen? You people are beating about the bush. Tell me, Hoha, what is going to, that's a poser. That was a poser that came to the office. No skills, no knowledge, no nothing. And I told the other one, all you need to do is send text message to all of them. He said, why will like, I? What if I don't send text message? Does that mean I will not make any money? Who is talking? A poser is talking. The person wants to make money. Ordinary to send text message to a foreigner. The person doesn't want to. That is a poser. They are not willing to do anything in the business. Nothing. They were hoping that from just one payment like this, eh, money will just be coming in without me doing anything. These people, they have Ponzi mentality. They have Ponzi mentality. They don't want to do anything. That's posers for you. How many of you have recruited posers? How many of you have recruited posers? You will see them in your business. They went out. After the finish entry, they'll come and be asking you, ha, you did not tell me that all these things is involved, though. Nobody told me that this thing is involved. Because of that, in fact, I am no longer doing the business. Refund me back my money, posers. Posers, that's who they are. Right? That's who they are. That's who they are. They came in with what? With Ponzi mentality. They were expecting that all I just need to do is just put my money and then what? Money will be coming in. There is no skill to learn. That's the poser. They don't want to learn anything. Let's look at the amateur. The amateur, they come into the business, they write contact lists for you. They might write a contact list of 50 persons, right? Right, they write a contact list of 50 persons and then they charge out with excitement with little or no skills and they begin to prospect. You told them, Don't talk to anybody, just write the list, let us know, send the text. Message. We will be the ones to call them. They will tell you, No, these people they are my friends, they are my contacts. I know what I am going to tell them, I know what I am going to tell them. They will go out without skills and they will go and be talking to people about the business. They'll be talking to people about the business and then nothing works out. And then they come out, they have a lot of anxiety. And by the time they finish talking, they will spoil everything. When you are not making the booking calls, what happens? What happens? People begin to what? They reject the opportunity. They will not come. They will not do this. They will not do that. And then what? They have a lot of anxiety. What is their anxiety? Ha, huh? my contact is finishing. Oh, my contact is finishing. My contact is finishing. My contact is finished. My contact has I have finished all my contact. Oh, there's, I don't know anybody again. Does that mean I will not make money again? So because of that, they say, ah, since I finished my contact, nobody registered. I am no longer doing the business. 
but they don't know that you can actually get more contacts, but they are not interested in finding out how you can get more contacts, amateurs. So this one, they will just do one or two things. They will send the contact list. You are telling them to organize a home now. No, 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 no. They don't want to come. They don't want to come. So they blame others for their lack of results. So when you tell them, don't talk to anyone, just send a text message, right? Right? Just send the text message. We will call them. They will go and go and spoil it with what they say. And then after that, when nobody comes, they will not start blaming you. They will not start blaming the opportunity. And they will start telling people, I wrote 100 content. Nobody registered. That thing does not work. That thing does not work. They won't tell the people that they did not follow the words, the instruction. If you are here and you were told what to do and you are not following it, you are an amateur. That's what amateurs, do you know how you know amateurs? They don't follow instructions. They don't, they like to do things their own way. They will finish spoiling things. When they finish spoiling it, they will now come back and blame somebody. They will blame their upline. They will blame their downline. They will blame the company. They will blame C2 and F. They will blame the product. They will blame the account. They will blame everything they are not willing to learn. That's how you know what, you know amateurs. They don't come for trainings. You invite them to come for trainings where they are supposed to learn this. They will not come for it. They won't come. They don't develop their skills. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't develop their skills. Are you with me now? That's who an amateur is. They will have the professionals. These professionals, they have a long-term commitment to learning. When they come in and they what they write their contact list, nobody signs up. They say, Ah, I'm writing another one. No, I will get another one. Take, I am writing the I've written the next one. Call them, call them, call them. Even if they exhaust all of their contact, they will say, Can you think is there a way where I can do what where I can connect more people, even though they are not in my presence? What can I do to get more persons? Then they will start learning what they can do. They will start learning the other systems that they can follow to get results. Professionals take responsibility for their success or their failures. Right? That is where professional is. They are committed to learning. They, you see them, they come for trainings. They want to be coming for training. They want to come and learn. They want to become better at doing the business. I mean, uh, that's whom a, what a professional is. I want you to say the truth and shame the devil. Between these three, which one are you? I have over 500 persons in this meeting. Among these three, which one are you? Say the truth. Say the truth. Which one are you? Say the truth. <laughs> Some people are saying professionals. How many books have you read? Yeah. How many books have you read? Those of you that are saying you are professional. How many books have you read? Uh -huh, amateurs, beautiful, number two. Uh, some people are honest. Some people are very, very honest. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some people are honest. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nobody, you see, nobody, nobody's a poser here. Nobody is a poser here, right? Do you know why? Posers will not even attend a training like this. They will not, no. They will not. For we, in fact, they won't even do anything. Come on to send text messages. Both that will not even send text messages. They will be angry with you. Why are you telling me to send text message? They will be quarreling with everything. Ha, somebody read two books and is a professional. Somebody read seven books and is a professional. Are you serious? How many textbooks did you read to become, do you need to read to become a medical doctor? All right. No, voila. We will see. All of you that said you are a, a professional, we are going to see whether you are a professional. Whether you are, we will see, we will see the, the characteristics of professionals right now. So right now, we are going to differentiate between amateurs and professionals. You see, we are no longer talking about posers. Posers, they don't last one week in this business. They don't last one week at all. They are the people that come and they tell you, I want my money back. Do you understand? Ah, you did not tell me. So posers. Those are, they are not here at all. They don't, they, they won't be here. They don't last one week. They don't last two weeks. So you see, we're not going to talk about posers. You don't need posers in your business at all. Anyway, most people come in as posers, right? 
Most of us, we come into the business as posers. So you don't need to remain as a poser. Move on to become an amateur. Then from an amateur, you become a professional, right? You don't need posers in your business. You try to get them to worst case scenario to become amateurs, all right? So we're going to see the difference between amateur and a professional, all right? Amateur and a professional. Number one, how do you know what? How do you know amateurs? Amateurs have limited training. They have limited training. So you see who is an amateur? An amateur is that person that will only read one book about the business. Then after the person has read one book about the business, he will assume that he knows everything about the business. You know, there was this young man that signed up into this business sometimes ago, right? The guy graduated with first class in his school. He now came into this business, started running the business. He now read your first year in network marketing. And I can promise you, I can bet it that that guy did not even finish reading first year in network marketing. He did not finish. Do you know what I did? I, I saw this guy one day on social media. The guy was talking against the business. He said, this is how these people will do this. This is how these people. He said, ah, I joined the business now. I joined the business. I joined the business. And then guess what? I have been reading their book. Your first year in network marketing. I've read it. I've read it. So those people, they are just deceiving people. They are just doing this. They are just doing that. They are just doing that. Ha! I say, I'm at all. You are exposing yourself. Even what? Even where? Even in social media. And I kept quiet. I laughed. The guy came out with his class. And he thought that he was actually what? He was doing bad to this business. But guess what happened? He didn't even know <laughs> that he was setting himself up. Is the business growing more or not? It's growing more. So amateurs have limited training. When they attend one or two trainings, they assume that they know everything and they don't want to learn. And they charge out like that. And that is how they go and mislead the people who care to listen to them. But what about a professional? A professional attends more and more trainings. Right? He keeps attending more and more trainings. A professor never, never comes to the point where he tells you what. He tells you, no, I have known it all. I have known it all. How you know amateurs, they are proud people. They don't want to learn more. They don't want to learn more. They sit down there and they assume that they know it all. Who is an amateur? An amateur, no time bound for work. He's not time bound for work. An amateur does this business whenever he feels like. Whenever she feels like, they do the business on their leisure time, on spare time. That's when they run their business. There is no commitment. There's no time commitment. That's who an amateur is. When the person has time, that's why you hear people tell you, I don't have time for this business. I don't have time. I'm very, very busy. That's an amateur talking. Doesn't make a time. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't be doing other things. You can be doing other things while you're doing this business. But who is a professional? A professional is time-bound. A professional sets out time for his business. A professional will say that I even though I work in the bank from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., I will be doing my labuena with that business. That is a professional. A professional sets time for his business, for doing his business. An amateur, no daily activities. That's how you know an amateur. An amateur is inconsistent, inconsistency. Uh -huh. So where are those people that say that they are professionals? Are you engaged in your business on daily basis because a professional is consistent on daily basis. A professional is consistently doing the activities, daily consistent activities. That's who a professional is. But an amateur, no daily consistent activity. An amateur will be going back and forth. Will be going back and forth. Are you learning something today? Who is an amateur? An amateur has what? But increased anxiety and is emotional about the business. Is emotional. How do you know that he's emotional? Ah, when you call his first contact list and nobody signs up, the person will be feeling bad. 
Ah, nobody signs up. It means I will not make money from this business. It means that they, this business is not for me. This business is not going to work for me. Ah, because of that, in fact, I am quitting. The person is very, very emotional. How many of you were not emotional when you started? Even me, I was emotional when I started. Right? When people rejected the opportunity, they came, paid me. That's you being emotional. You are being an amateur. But you see, a professional, what happens? The professional is not emotionally attached. Right? Right? The professional is not emotionally attached. How many of you have come to the point where whether people tell you, no, he doesn't concern you anymore. You know, they taught you anymore. How many of you have gotten to that level now? That's a professional level. Right? You are inviting your friends. You invited them, they came. All of them came up and they did not say anything. They stood up and they go. Next week, you organize another home launch. You are not a professional. They didn't know they taught you anymore. But before, you still remember that time where you started? Ah, somebody said no. Yeah. That day, because somebody said no, your countenance changed, your mood changed. You could no longer eat food anymore. You could no longer greet anybody anymore. Why? Because what? You were still an amateur. But as you are now increasing in knowledge, as you are becoming greater, as your skill is increasing, you are no longer emotionally attached. Why? Because you know that if you don't sign up, another person is going to sign up. You know, consign me. That's a professional. An amateur expect more by prayers. <laughs> An amateur is expecting more results. He wants to make more money by prayers. He wants to make more by prayers. That's why you will see him. Instead of him to go and do the work that will produce more results, what will you do? He will go and stay in the and he's praying, 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 praying. Pray. Have you noticed that in the church, when we say, even the pastor say, let us pray for Nigeria. Let us pray for the peace of the land. How many of you notice that the, the, the voice of the people praying everywhere is silent? It's usually silent. How many of you notice it? But when the pastor say, let us pray for breakthrough. Let us pray that this week you will receive contract. This week, your husband will come your way. This week, the other one, the other one. When what it has to do with their selfish prayer. What do, what, what do you usually notice? Omo, you will be trying, you will be trying so hard to stop them from praying. You will see, you will see the prayer warrior inside them. Why? Because they want to expect more. They are expecting more results by just praying. So when they when you say let us pray, let us pray for contract, they are not asking themselves, have I submitted any bid for a contract? In fact, do I even know how to prepare business plan so that I can get a contract? They don't, they don't think about that. Too. They are not thinking about how to get. That is an amateur for you. Are you with me now? That is an amateur. So an amateur will not learn the skills. He will not learn the things he's supposed to do. But he's expecting God to do everything, everything for him. Right? But then they, what? A professional expect more through confidence and skills. That's who a professional is. You saw that word. You saw Tiger Woods. You saw Tiger Woods, right? You saw when he played the thing. He was so sure that the thing was going to enter inside the world. It was going to enter inside the home. He knows it that because of my skill, I am going to get this thing done. Are you seeing the difference between what? Between an amateur and the professional. If you are here, if you are here, before you do presentation, right? You go and do, you go and do three days dry fasting. You go and do three days dry fasting. Lord, I pray as I just open my mouth to talk. Let them all of them pay. Let all of them pay, right? Uh -huh. But God can, can break protocol. I be uh -huh. You see them? They are here now. God can break protocol. Okay. God can break protocol. Is it a protocol that he set himself? God will now break the protocol he set by himself. This is where the problem is. Now. You are expecting God to break protocol. You know, some people even pray. They even pray. You know, I've seen some people say, ah, God, God will transfer. Let God, God will, well, how do they even still put it? That God will transfer the wealth of the Gentiles to me. God will break the protocols and transfer the wealth of the Gentiles to me. You are now, brother, you are trying to use God to steal somebody's money. Somebody will work hard and build something. And you, you expect God to break protocols and bring where well, somebody will work hard and you now carry the thing and transfer the wealth to you. You are a thief in broad daylight. 
That's not the God I serve. That's not the God that is in heaven. That's not the God that is in heaven. Are you hearing me? There are principles. There are principles to follow. The protocol that God will break for you is after you have done the things you are supposed to do. When you do it, you now leave the rest for God. You have done the work. Imagine that you don't know how to read. You have not learned how to read. And then you go to exam hall. You are planning to write exam. And you are planning to pass. Because God will break the protocol and cause answer to appear. Even if the answer appears, you will not know how to read. You will not even know that that is the answer. Abi, so that is the kind of protocols you want God to break for you. You don't know how to, how to read. And you are going to go and take an exam. And you are expecting to see results tomorrow. That is not the God that we serve. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? That is not the God that we serve. So if God is going to help you in the exam hall, one, you must do what? You must learn how to read. You must know how to read. You must have read before the exam. Right? You must have read before you go to the exam. You know all this? How many of you did that in, in school? You say, you will not go and read your book. You are going to do 40 days and 40 nights fasting and prayer. Then when you now come to exam hall, you are expecting answer to appear. He say, angel of the Lord, reveal the answer to this question to me. You will pray. Everybody will finish writing exam. You will still be there. No angel will come there. No answer. That is what some people do. They are expecting God to cheat. You want God to do expo for you. The God that I serve. You want God to do expo for you. And that is what they call what? They call protocol breaking. That's what they call protocol breaking. They want God to cheat for them. Right? You must go and do what? What God can do for you. What God will do for you. Is that, oh, I even bought magic pen. The, the, the pastor that gave you magic, he just did business with you and you patronized him. You, did not, you, did, you didn't know what he just did. What God can do for you and what prayers will do for you is that when you have read, you see, what your prayer point should be is that what? After you have read, right? After you have read, you now come to the, when you are coming to say, Father, what I needed to do, help me to remember everything that I've read. That is what Jesus Christ said. He said, the spirit will bring to remembrance to you all that I have taught you. That is the job of the Holy Spirit. His job is to do what? To bring to remembrance what you have read. Bros, if you never read anything, there is nothing for the spirit to bring to remembrance for you. So, but we find people who will not read and then they will go and say, Father, I am your son. I want to see answers. You will fail. You will carry over that course until when you are ready to read. That is what happens here. Jonathan, that is what happens here. So God will do what? God will do what? God will only help you, right? The ones you do not do what? You will what? He will remind you after you have read. And even the one he will remind you is that you have read it and read it and read it. A pastor taught me that as I am going to school, when I was entering university, he said, before any exam you will enter, make sure you have read that course at least 10 times. He's a pastor that told me, oh, pastor, say, read it at least 10 times before you go into that exam hall, so that you will not go there and you'll be blaming the Holy Spirit. Protocol breaker. Protocol breaker. All right. So they expect more through prayers, but the professionals expect more through skills. Am I helping somebody tonight? Am I helping somebody tonight? Right? God said, I will bless the works of your hands. He did not just say work. He said the works of your hand. So you must have handwork that God will bless. If there is no works, God cannot bless. But guess what? Some people will not have work, but they are expecting God to break protocol for them and carry a lazy human being like them and go and play. What do they mean by protocol? Ah, even though I did not qualify for the job, let God carry me and go and put there. And guess what? If God does that for you, you will not last for one week in that place. If God broke protocol and they took you into that job, your incompetence will cause you 
to be thrown out of that place in less than what? In less than one week. After God has wasted his time breaking protocol for an incompetent you. I needed to handle this issue because we have a lot of people. We have a lot of people who are not what? Who are not getting the results. Who are not getting the results because they are waiting for God to do for them what they are supposed to do by themselves. Amateurs are not focused to a system. They are not focused to a system. They keep jumping from one place to the other. That's one thing you will know about amateur. Right? That's one thing you know about amateur. They are looking for where is paying more. That's what that's their own major decision. They are not focused, right? They are not focused. They are not focused on a system. Today, you are telling them, do it this thing. Do it this thing. Do it this way. They tell you, no, 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 no. I know what I am supposed to do. I know how I am going to do it. I know they will not follow a system. That's an amateur. That's how you know amateurs. But professionals are focused. They follow the system. And because they follow the system, they get the result. So if you are here, you come, you came into this business and we told you that there is a system. If you are not following the system, listen to me, you will not get the results. If you like, go on top of mountain, go and be praying to God, you will not get the results. The answer to your prayer is for you to follow a system. Am I helping somebody tonight? Amateurs, are, they experience limited growth and learning. They are not growing. They are not growing themselves. They are limited in their growth. They are limited in their thinking. And you know that this is the reason a lot of persons are gullible, even in church. That's why some quacks will come and be deceiving some people in the name of God. And when those quacks finally do what? Those quacks finally reveal their true color. They will come out and say, all pastors are evil. All pastors are 419. Oh, it's not true. It is your word. You know, some people are serving God with Ponzi mentality. I hope you know. Some people are serving God with Ponzi mentality. You see this thing called seed. They will tell you, sow this. When you sow this amount of money, you God will supply all your needs. And then you will buy a car. You will buy this. You will build a house. And so that is why some Somebody is sowing seed. The person is not sowing seed because he loves God. The person is sowing seed because what? Because he said, if I put 100,000, God is going to double my 100,000 and I will get money to buy a car. I will get money to build the house. Ponzi scheme. That's Ponzi scheme. And that is why after they finish sowing the seed and nothing happens, they don't buy the car. They don't see anything. They will not say all oh, pastors are 419. All pastors are, you are the one that is a 419. You were thinking God was going to double your money for you. That's what happens. When you finish all this, go and walk. He said, I will bless the works of your hands. Limited growth. It is this lack of growth that is causing all of these things that is happening. That is causing all of these things. You now go, they'll tell you, go and bring this, go and bring that. And you keep bringing, 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 and you do not see. You didn't know that somebody who was simply closing you down using scriptures. Why? Because you are limited in your knowledge of God. If you know God and you know him for yourself, one you, you can dictate who is a fake prophet. You don't, need to, you don't need to spend two hours. Once you sit down, once you hear the person talk, the Bible said that by their fruit, you will know them. When you sit down, because you have been growing, you have been growing, Growing in the knowledge of God, you will not immediately they start talking. You will know them. You will know them. Listen to me. No man of God can deceive me. I am not an amateur Christian at all, at all. I call at all. You can't deceive me. Are you with me now? So it is the lack of growth, the amateur is this thing that causes that to happen. Listen to me. There's a lot this business will do for you. There's a lot. This business will help you to serve God better. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Because when you learn the principles in this business, you go and apply it to your spiritual life, you will become a better what? You will become a better child of God. Right? Very, very important. But what, are, what about professionals? 
What about professionals? Professionals are consistent in their growth and learning. They are consistently growing. They are consistently growing. They are improving themselves. They are improving themselves. They are improving themselves. They are improving themselves. That's who a professional is. A professional never believes that I've gotten to the point where I know everything. They keep growing. They are constantly growing. Let me ask you, are you constantly growing? Are you constantly learning? If you are not constantly learning, forget it. You will not succeed. Don't be surprised that you are not what? That you are not succeeding. That's who a professional is. An amateur does not want to grow. That's why an amateur will not be attending millionaire school every day, every, every week. He will not be attending millionaire school. He's always complaining. Every day, every day, Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting. From this Zoom meeting to this Zoom meeting. From this Zoom meeting, every time. Ah, we go die on what? Zoom meeting. People should have told me that it's, it's only Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting. Well, that's an amateur talking. That's an amateur talking. Limited growth. An amateur focuses more on himself. An amateur focuses more on herself. But a professional is focused more on duplication. I have said it times with that number, and I'm going to repeat it. The only reason people quit this business is because they are selfish. It is only selfish people who quit this business. When they are quitting the business, what did you hear them say? Right? What do you hear them say? What do you hear them say? I tried the business, the business did not work. I wrote my contact list and nobody signed up. I did not get any signed up. I did not get any payment. I did not make any money. You are, you, are you hearing their statement? I did not make any money. I kept on coming, but nobody was joining. I, 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 I. So because I did not succeed, I am quitting the business. You see now, they focus on themselves. But professionals are looking beyond themselves. What do they do? They are duplicating. You see, amateurs, what do they do? They are always producing excuses. Ah, they have a thousand and one reason why they did not attend millionaire school. They have a thousand and one reason why they are not growing. If you're asking them, why are you not reading the book? Why are you not coming to the office? Ha, ah, my children. Tomorrow, my husband. Next tomorrow, my pastor. Next to next, next tomorrow, my sister. They are producing. Did you say the word there? They are always producing excuses. They are the one producing it, producing it. They always have explanation why they are not doing the things they are supposed to do. Ah, right, another contact. I am new in Enugu. I am new in Abuja. I don't know anybody. I don't know excuses. They are producing. So if, if you are always producing excuses, who are you? You are not mature. Today, you are seeing your true color, Abi. Very good. I came to expose some people today. All right? But then what? What about professionals? Professionals are always what? Producing results. Right? Professionals are always producing results. While the amateur is producing excuses. Ah, professionals are producing results. Now, today is the 20th day in our 90 days challenge. Is that true? Did you notice those of you in that challenge? Do you notice that it is almost the same people who have been what? Who have been writing reports, sending their report? Is the same people. And the number of people in that group that are sending that, they are not up to 100. But we have a group of over 500 people. What about the other people? Go and ask them. Why is it that you are not sending your report? Why are you not doing the activity? What would they tell you? Excuses. They will produce excuses why they are not doing what they are supposed to do. But you see, the professionals, they are the ones who are producing results. And do you know what? Professionals also experience the same thing that what? That amateurs experience. But what happens? Professionals, they find a way to make sure that they are producing results. Which one are you producing? Are you producing results? Or are you producing excuses? That will determine where you are. Follow me. Follow me. Did you learn something tonight? Which one are you producing? Which one will you start producing after today? Make sure you are producing results. Too. Make sure you are not an amateur. Have you seen the characteristics of what amateurs and that of professionals? So begin to work on yourself to become a professional. <laughs> begin to work on yourself. If you are not producing, 
producing results, no matter how genuine your excuses are. Even if your father has told you, your husband has told you that you should not do this business, you should not do anything about this business. Listen to me, that's just an excuse. Bro. If you are not producing results, you are still an amateur. Because a professional, we know how to talk to our husband and he or she will allow her. Points to note. Number one, the main difference between an amateur and a professional is what? Their skills. How is it that a professional can be producing results? What is it that helps a professional to produce results? The skills that the person has. That's what we help you to be producing results. Right? So do you know why an amateur keeps making excuses? The amateur keeps making excuses because he has not learned the skills. So the amateur is trying to use the excuses to hide his lack of skills. So whenever you find yourself always explaining, you are always explaining, you are always giving reasons why something has not been done. You are simply dodging away from what? From the fact that you have not taken your time to learn the skills that will help you produce the results. Simple. The difference between an amateur and the professional is their skills. The professional has so much skills, but an amateur doesn't have any skills. How many of you guys, how many of you play football here? How many of you play football? If you play football, just type me or I, whichever one. If you play football, right? If you play football, type me. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Godfrey Obona. Okay, let me see. David Rabel. Let me see if I can unmute any one of you. I want to ask you a question. Let me see any one of you that I can unmute. Okay, just one, uh, raise up your hand. Just raise up your hand so that it will be faster for me to locate you. Any of these persons who, if you play football, raise up your hand. Uh, Mosia Pratisha, you play football as well. Are you serious? Is it before, before or now? Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, Amalu Sisi, I want to believe you are one of those that play football, right? Okay, please, you can unmute yourself now. Please, Amalu Sisi, unmute yourself. Good evening, boss. Okay, okay, yes, Amalu Sisi, good evening. Good evening, good evening sir. You play football, right? Where do you yes, play sir. the football? Where do you play the football? My secondary school time now. Oh, secondary school time? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. No, I need somebody who is a current player. If you are a current player, I need somebody who is a current player. Okay, you can mute yourself back. From these names, I don't know. Uh, Isaac Otuje. Uh -huh. Are you... Are you uh -huh. Just raise up your hand. If you are a current player, you are still playing up to now. Somebody is playing in his dreams. Unmute yourself. Isaac or 2 j Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Ah, okay. Isaac, you are unmuted now. So um, can I can you say something? We want to hear you. Isaac is not ready. Okay, Okoli, John Paul, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. You are a current player, right? Yes, boss. Good evening. Huh? Good evening. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okoli, jump up. Where do you play your yes. football? Uh, I play in the field now. You play in the field. Where? Which of the field do you usually play? Okay. At, uh, there's this field in Federal Government. Okay. You play in the field, uh, the football pitch of um, Federal Government College of Education. Umuza, right? Yes, yes. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Please, how much do you make from playing football there? <laughs> uh, why are you laughing at yourself? You say how much? <laughs> you are not making any money. Yes, but from playing football. Yes, but ah, uh, but that is the same football that Messi is playing now, and they are playing him uh, thousands of pounds, thousands of pounds uh, per week, per week. Uh, 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 this is a professional now, but... Anyway, so the difference, why is it that you, you are not getting paid, but Messi is getting paid, and from that same football he has built as he's a multi-billionaire today. 
What's the difference between you and him? Ah, Okoli, we can't hear you again. No. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. The only reason they are paying Messi and they are not paying him is because what? John Paul is an amateur footballer, but Messi is what? Is a professional. And what is the difference between the two of them? The skills. There are certain football skills that make, you know, John Paul will be thinking that he knows how to play football. In fact, some of you, when you see John Paul play, you'll be clapping for him. You'll be clapping for him. But do you know that if John Paul should enter a correct football academy and they begin to teach him the football skills, do you know that there are textbooks on football? I hope you know. There are textbooks you will be reading. You will be attending lectures. Can you imagine? I talk football. Is it not for me to enter the field and be shooting ball up and down? No, 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 no. You will be attending lectures. You will be attending lectures. There is a science to football. If you go and see the books that those footballers read, they will read about diet. They will read about the skills, everything. After that, Messi started reading that book from the age of nine. From the age of nine. And today, today he is making millions and somebody is angry. Look at now, I am playing the same football that Messi is playing and they are not even paying me anything. They are not even paying me anything. But why is it that they are paying Messi millions of dollars? You are an amateur. Messi is skillful. Messi has studied what you have not studied. Messi has gone through the trainings you have not gone through. Do you not get the points? So in this business, before you start shouting and crying, they are not paying me money. Now, nah, I joined this business is one year. I joined this business two years ago, and they have not made any money. Ask yourself, have I learned the skills? It doesn't matter how many years John Paul is playing football, provided he has not become a professional footballer, he will never be, played, be paid, even if he's playing football for 10 years. Even if he's playing football. So listen to me. It is not the number of years you have spent in this business that determines how much you have made. What we determine how much you make in this business is the skills you have developed. Did you hear me? If you develop the skills in one month, you will start making money in one month. If you develop the skills in two years, you will start making the money in two, in two years. It is not the number of time you have spent. It is the skills you have developed. So if that is the case, what do I do? I make sure I learn the skills as fast as possible. Is that true? Is that true? That is the cheat code. That is the cheat code. Are you understanding me? The difference between an amateur and a professional is their skills. You saw the video about Messi, right? You saw the you saw the way he was kicking it. That's why he is getting paid. He has been trained. Follow me. I came here to help somebody. I want you to start making these millions fast. The reason you are not getting the desired result in your business is not always because of the lack of activities, but because of your level of skills. Ah. Is somebody delivered tonight? Is somebody delivered tonight? Is somebody delivered tonight? The reason you are not getting your accurate result, the reason you are not getting the kind of result you are supposed to get, it is not because you are not just doing the activities. It is because of your level of skills. So you can be doing the skills in this business. You can be doing the activities, prospecting, but if you are not doing it, skillfully like a professional you will not be getting the desired results ah do you now understand why you did presentation and nobody signed up uh -uh. is it not the same slide the same everything how come nobody is signing up go and check your skills if you are not getting the result you, are, you did home lunch and you are not getting the result go and check your skills you are doing the activities of 90 day challenge, income producing activity. You are calling, calling, but nobody is showing up. Go and 
check your level of skills. That's why you're not getting the result. That's why you're not getting the result. Skills enable you to do simple positive activities that will give you the desired results. Skills enables you to do positive, simple activities to get your desired results. Are you getting the point now? So it is not just about doing the activities. It is about doing the activities in the right proportion with the right and the correct skills. That is how you will get the desired results. Are you following me? Are you getting the point? If somebody is getting something tonight, that is the reason you are still struggling to get the results. Check your skills. When you have the skills, guess what? You don't need to work as hard as every other person. Once you get the skills from that activity, you will get so much results. Let's make progress because of our time. All right? I would rather spend so much time sharpening my skills than what? Spend time doing what? Doing some unproductive activities. Spending so much time doing so much activities. This is what amateurs do. Activity, 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 activity. Without spending time to develop their skills. You will not take time to read the book. We told you to read the books. We told you to attend trainings. You will not attend all those things. You are not going to go and organize home lunch. You are going to go and do this one. You want to go and start talking to people. You will do all those things and you will not get the result. Then guess what will happen? You will not get frustrated in the process. Spend more time sharpening your skills. Sharpen the skills. Then when you do the activities, the little activities is going to produce so much results for you. But we have a lot of people who are doing so much activities with little or no skills and they are frustrated. So start learning your skills. Start asking yourself, how skillful am I? That is what is going to determine the result you are going to get. That's what is going to determine the result you are going to get. Are you following me? The levels of skills. There are levels of skills in this business. Low class level. Low class level of skill is when you have zero to 39%. You see this one, Ba? Anybody you try to show the opportunity will reject you. At this level, eh, there is high level of rejection. You don't even know how to do what? How to invite people to attend your home lunch. You don't even know how to do that. In school, when you score 39 over 100, you got first class, Abi. You will get first class, Abi. When you score 39 over 100, what will be your results? Is it A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, or Z? Which one? Which one? When you score 39, what will it be? Oh, you see, it is 39 and you are getting F9. You have what? So are you now surprised why you have been getting F9 in this business? You have been getting F everywhere. Prospecting, inviting, making money. F, you are just getting F, 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 F in this business. Why? Because you have low level skills. The second class is the mid-class level between 40 to 59%, right? Between 40 to 59%. <clears throat> this is where most of us are. Most of us, this is where you are. And you are trying to make millions with this. You are trying to make millions. Yes, yeah, so you have done what? You have done what? You have read some books. You have read five books. You have read six books. You have read seven books, 10 books in the day. That's not all to learn, right? You have to keep improving. At this level, you'll be getting some. You'll be getting some results. And some of us, once we get here, we begin to feel that we have arrived. No. The other level is what? The pro class level of skill between 60% to 100%. You see, at this level, eh? When you handle somebody's what? When you handle somebody's objection, what happens? The person will pay. When you finish presenting, people will pay. 
So what you need to do is to move from this low class level and get to the what the pro class level. As a leader, note, if you are a leader and your skill is low class, the growth of your team will be limited. You cannot give what you don't have. This is the problem we have. Unskillful people are trying to build this business. And guess what? We have leaders who don't have skills in this business. They are operating with low level skills. And they are wondering why they are not making money. They are wondering why others are making the money, but they are not making the money. If you want to build a successful business, you need to groom yourself. You need to increase your level of skills. That is what is holding your business. You don't expect to grow with low level skills. No. So I came here to cut soap for you. The reason your business is not growing as it should is because your skills are not growing the way they should. Your skills are not growing the way they should. Even as I wrap up, there are skills to develop in this business. You want to make money, Abi? Sure, you want to make money in this business. You want to make so much money. There are skills you must develop to be successful in this business. If you don't develop these skills, you cannot be successful. Number one skill is what? Prospecting skills. You must develop that skill. What is prospecting skills? That is the skills of how to get people's contact. You see, when somebody tells you, I have adjusted my contact, I no longer have contact, it simply means the person doesn't have prospecting skills. You don't have prospecting skills. When you learn how to prospect, you'll be meeting people every day and you'll be collecting phone numbers. Yes, you meet new people every day. But the reason you are not getting new phone numbers every day is because you don't have the skills of prospecting. People are passing you by every day because you don't have the prospecting skills. If you have prospecting skills, you will never run out of contacts. Let me say that again. If you are good with your prospecting skills, you will never run out of contacts. I promise you, you will never run out of contacts. So when somebody is telling you, ah, I've exhausted my contact, that person doesn't have prospecting skills. Go and learn it. Learn how to prospect so that you will always have people to show the opportunity. The other skills you need to learn is the invitation skills. Is the invitation skills. When you have contact, you need to learn how to invite them. There is a skill to get them to come and see. If you just come and tell the ahead, I want to invite you to a seminar. Come for the seminar where we are going to show you how to make millions. How many persons will come? You are not skillful. You are not skillful. You don't have invitation skills. You have to learn. There is a way you will invite your people, they will come for your what, home lunch. If you don't invite them skillfully, they will not show up. They will not show up. Even if you are reading the skill, your the script. I hope you know you can be reading the script and nobody still comes. There are certain skills you must learn on how to invite. So you must develop what invitation skills. You need these skills to be successful in this business. If you don't have it, you'll be you'll be inviting people and they will not be coming. Develop your invitation skills. The other one is what? Presentation skills. If you don't develop presentation skills, if you don't develop presentation skills, guess what? You will finish presenting and people will not sign up. Have you, have you noticed that you do what? You the same set of people, there are the same set of people. If you finish talking to them, nobody registers. If you bring those same people to me, when I finish talking to them, they will register. It is not because I have the result too. It is not just because I have the result. It is because I've developed the skills. I know what to say. I know how to say it. That's the skills. And guess what? The same person who is making noise and telling you, I, I am not interested, that same person will pay for megaverse. It is the skills. Somebody is saying an example. I can't do all of that this night. Go and learn more. Go and read more about them. Close down skills. There is a skill on close down. If you are not skillful, people will finish enjoying your presentation and they will not pay. You need to learn how to close the person down. It's a skill. And every skill is learnable. 
if you want to learn is if you want to be good at a skill you must learn the skills that's what we mean by what developing them so you must go and develop the close down skills don't think people will just sign up because I can, tell most, I can finish presenting in your decision. If you don't know how to close people down, guess what? Nobody will sign up. Even after a wonderful presentation, I will say, who wants to go for the master? All of them will be interested in the mastermind. But guess what will happen? None of them will eventually pay. If you are experiencing that, after you finish presentation, you say, who are those interested in the mastermind? They raise up their hand. After they raise up their hand, not one person pays. Do you know what is lacking? Close down skills. That's what is lacking. Close down skills. If that is what you are experiencing in your business, it means that you lack close down skills. Go and sharpen your skills. You will start getting results. Right? You will start getting results. Handling objection is a skill. Oh, ha. That is why somebody who is interested in the business will not be. Why? Because the person, you have not handled the person's objections. If you don't handle their objections, that person who is what who is very very interested in the business the person will end up not signing up the person will tell you what i don't have the money i am very interested but i don't have the money i am very interested but you see i just gave birth i am a nursing mother all these things are objections you need to learn how to handle those objections i am very very busy i am very very there is something you will tell a very busy man and the person will rush and run or what and register into the business. It is called handling objections. You must learn it. It's a skill. These are the skills you must learn. So do you not understand why you have not started getting that kind of results you are expecting? Because you have not developed these skills. The next skills you need to develop is duplication skills. Hmm. Duplication is a skill. There are some people that know how to register people, right? Right? There are some people that know how to register people, but they don't know how to duplicate. If you don't know how to duplicate, there will be a limit to how much you are going to make in this business. You cannot be making so much money. Listen to me. You can't make millions from this business just from your own effort. For you to start making the millions, you need to do what? You need to duplicate. You need to duplicate. You need to develop the skills. For duplication yeah it's a skill learn how to duplicate yes learn how to duplicate learn how to duplicate these are skills you need to learn right right beautiful then the last skill you also need to develop is what leadership skills because when you start duplicating when you start duplicating your team starts getting large you now need to step into leadership if you are not good at leading your team, guess what? That your very big team will crash. Leadership is very, very essential in this our business. You must develop leadership skills. You must become what? You must become a leader in this business. You must learn how to lead people. People. It is a skill. The reason I am successful, it is not just because I know how to talk. It is not just because I know how to show presentation. It is not just because I know how to close out. It is also because I have worked and I am still working on my leadership skills. If I am not a good leader, if I'm not good at leadership, guess what? My business will not grow as big as it is. The reason Ambassador Michael Okoli has built a massive team, it is not just because we have developed the system. It is also because he has very powerful leadership skills. You must learn about leadership. You must develop yourself to become a better leader. Very, very important too, because a leader is somebody that solves problems. A leader is somebody that leads. A leader is somebody that gives direction. Are you with me? You must work on your leadership skills, right? You must work on your leadership skills. You have to, you see these skills, you see them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven skills are very, very important. This should be your prerogative. And as you just join the business, start developing these skills. The money you are going to make in this business is going to be dependent on how good you are in these skills. If you are lacking in these skills, you will not make so much money. That is the truth. So right now that you are new in this business, start developing these skills. Develop prospecting skills. That is what you need. As an upline, teach your people how to develop what these skills as a leader. Train your people on prospecting skills so that they will never run out of contacts. Train them on what? On invitation. 
Train them. This is what to do. You don't just come to the office and you don't have anything to do. Learn these things. And aside that, go and do what? Learn these things. Yes, follow up skills. I forgot to put that here. Thank you for reminding me. Follow up skills. Very, very important. I forgot to put that here. Follow up skills. All right? Follow up skills. Learn these things. The money you are going to make in this business is dependent on how skillful you are. The same way, Messi is making so much money because he is skillful in this business. So the last thing I'm going to show you tonight, how to develop these skills, right? Right? So somebody's already asking, how do I develop it? I'm going to show you how to develop what, how to develop these skills. Number one, how do you develop these skills? Read about the skills. There are authors who have written books about these skills. Read them in books. Read about prospecting. There is a book called Prospecting Rules. Go and read about it. It will teach you how to prospect. There is another book on invitation and recruiting. It is called what? Become a network marketing what? Um, 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 recruiting what? Master. Right, right. Becoming a network marketing uh, superstar. Yes, yes, yes. A, a recruiting superstar. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What, by one Mary, somebody, right? That book will teach you about prospecting. It will teach you about prospecting and inviting. GoPro will teach you about the skills. Go and read GoPro. Read about the what? About the skills. Go out and go and look for information. We have GoPro Academy. Go through them. Read about the skills. Read books that will teach you about the skills. Look out for the books. Go and ask your leader. I need to develop my invitation skills. Is there any what? Be a recruiting superstar. Thank you. By Mary Christensen. Thank you very much. All right. Right. Go and ask your leader. Recommend a book I will read that will help me develop my close down skill. Develop, recommend a book for me to read. That's why you should not be missing cell meetings. In cell meetings, we read books and these books will help you to develop these skills. Are you with me now? These books will help you to develop these skills. We read them during me what? During a cell meeting. That's the importance of cell meeting. Never miss cell meeting. All right. The next thing is what? Listen to teachings on this word, on these skills. Right? Go and listen to teachings. There are people who have prepared teachings on this. Like when you are listening to Jim Rohn, when you are listening to what? Uh, 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 um, somebody like um, this guy, Mark Morris, when you are listening to Les Brown, go and get books. People who have succeeded in this business have put together trainings, teachings that will help you become better on these skills. Go out and go and look for the books and read them. That is the effort, extra effort you are putting. It's just like Ronaldo or Messi. Guess what? Even after they have been signed by a football club, what happens? They go out of their way. They go and train. They go and read. They develop themselves so that they can remain relevant. Listen to teachings on that. That is how to develop the skill. Another way to develop the skill is to watch video trainings on these skills. There are videos, like the video that was playing before we started this meeting, right? That's Matt Morris talking. Go and watch such videos. Listen to them. People who are succeeded, they have done training videos that can help you. Stop wasting your data on Twitter. Stop wasting your data on Facebook. Stop wasting your data watching useless movies on Netflix, watching useless movies on YouTube. Use your data. Go online. Go and Google it. Go and search. What? Go and search and ask how to become a very good closer in network marketing. If you type it, you will see plenty of videos you can watch. Right? Now, it is not every video because there are some people who are just there talking rubbish just to make money on YouTube. Right? Just listen to so many of them and you will find the ones that will help you in your business. Stop wasting your data on social media. Use your data. Go online. Look for videos you can watch. That was how I developed what? I developed my close down skills. Those days when I started presentation, I would finish presenting. Powerful presentation. And nobody will register. Nobody will sign up. I was angry. I was anxious. I was feeling bad. I will call Dr. Mba. I am doing everything, you know, but nobody is registering. You know what Dr. Mba will tell me? He will say, go online, go and get videos. That was how I started watching Matt Morris. 
I started watching Matt Morris on close down. Started watching Matt Morris on handling objection. That was how I was able to sharpen my skills on handling objection. I can remember December 2018. I traveled home to the village that December. What I was doing during that December, I was just watching videos, watching videos, watching videos that were helping me develop my skills. By the time I came back in January 2019, my results started changing. My results started changing in the business. That was when my results started changing. Are you with me now? What is holding your results is your lack of skills. Develop yourself. Stop depending on your upline for everything. Stop depending on your leader to do presentation for you, to do what, right? To do a close down for you. You only you, your upline is going, you are not the only person under him. Start learning so that you can take over from him or from her, right? Watch videos. These videos are online. Are you with me? But then when you are watching, when you want to watch videos, watch videos from recommended authors. Like who? Like Jim Rohn, like Matt Morris, like um, 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 Eric Warren, and some of these people. Like These are people we already know. Randy Gage. These are people we know. We trust them. Don't just watch video by anybody. And before you finish watching all the videos by Eric Warren, you will be a master in the skills. Do you understand? All these videos are available online, but make sure you are watching the videos by recommended authors. There are some hungry people that, that just come and talk rubbish so that you can watch their videos and then they will make money online. All right? That is it. Look for what authors. Then finally, attend trainings where they are taught. Attend trainings where these skills will be taught. Attend trainings like this millionaire school right where you will learn about the skills attend trainings right in your offices some of you your leaders are organizing millionaire school physical millionaire school don't ever miss any of those classes because it is in those classes that these skills are going to be taught learn them be attending you don't know what you are missing by missing trainings when you are always missing trainings you can never become a professional right attend cell meetings that is where we also learn the skills in cell meetings. Do you understand? That is why we keep holding these meetings. We keep any training, attend retreats, pay money and attend retreats. You will learn some of these things better. That is how to develop the skills. Did I just help somebody tonight? Did I just help somebody tonight? So from today, if you are struggling in this business, just know that it is what? 90% your skills. 90%. The remaining 10% can be any other factor. But what? 90% of the reason you are struggling in the business is your lack of skills. So when you begin to what? When you begin to experience struggles, when you find out that you are struggling to get results, check your skills. Check your skills. Develop your skills. How skillful are you? How skillful are you? That is why you are not yet making that kind of money you want to make. That is why you're not even making money at all. Your skill level is very low. Start developing your skills. Start developing these skills, especially pro prospecting skills, especially invitation skills. Go and learn those skills. Become better at those skills. Do you understand? I hope you understand. If some of you, some of you, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Right? Some of you, the result you will start getting from your home launch, your home launch will become better. It will become better when you do what? When you have learned and improved your skills. Some of you, the reason why you have done three home launches and nobody signed up, nobody signing up, is because your skill is very low. You don't know how to present yet. You are not very good at presenting. You are not very good at closing down. Go and sharpen the skills when you do that. You start getting better results. And you know the interesting thing? You know the interesting thing? That's the beauty of this 90 days challenge. Some of you, before this 90 days challenge is over, your skills will become so good because you went out, you tried it, it did not work. You come back and you learned and you, become, you became better. So everybody, your assignment right now is to go and what? Improve on these skills. These are the skills. Follow up is also part of them. Go and develop yourself in the skills. And when you do that, guess what? The Get3 promo that is currently on, it will be a walk away for you. When you are skillful, some of you saw Dr. Tony, right? You saw him. You saw how many he made 
that over 2 point something million naira last month, I mean last two months, just from the promo. Why is that so? Because his skills is very high. His prospecting skills, his invitation skill, his close down skill is very, very high. That is why he's getting those kind of sign offs. So the get three promo is currently going on right now. If you can sharpen your skills, you will get better results. You will get better results. People will sign up into your business. People will do your business. Are you with me now? People will do your business. Oh, I can tell you, you always meet from with you. Wow. <laughs> right? You will do what? You will easily get it. So the get three promo is come on, currently on. Every one of you, you need to get three. You need to go and get your three. All right? Get your three so that you can make extra money from the business. Then finally, I hope you are taking advantage of the words of the account maintenance promo that is currently ongoing. I hope you are taking advantage. I hope you are taking advantage of it. I hope you are taking advantage of it, of the words, of the promo that is going on. Take advantage. This promo will be coming to an end 27th, which is next week, Monday. By this time next week, you can no longer take advantage of this promo. So everybody, Go and sharpen your skills, work on your skills, become a what? A top class level, right? Not mid class, not mid class. Get to the top class so that your skills will produce more results and you.